time you're going through situations, trials and temptations, I want you to ask yourself certain questions. What is God teaching you? What is he training you for? Why is, the, why is he training you to fast? Why is God training you to pray? Why is God training you to be consistent? Why is he reminding you get early to work? You're going to be fired very soon. You're always coming late to work. You're going to be fired. Why is he training you? Why is he training you? Why is he waking you up at night to pray? What, what is he teaching you? The Bible says that David, he was busy in the forest. He was killing lions and bears. That was his training. He was killing lions. He was killing bears. But no, his destiny was not to remain at the farm. But he had to go through a process because he was going to kill a giant. A giant. He had to first go through the process of killing bears and killing lions before he can face a giant. Imagine if David had no skill. He didn't have the skill. He didn't. He had not built that courage. He had not built that fearlessness in him. And he faced Goliath. What would have happened? So every time you're going through situations, you're confronted with situations. I want you to ask yourself, what is God teaching me? What does he want me to learn? What is he training me for? Why is he telling me to fast? There was a time in my life where I fasted almost the whole year. I was on fasting almost the whole year. I didn't know he was preparing me for this online ministry. When I was coming to the United States of America, the Lord put me on a 70 days fasting and prayer. Can you imagine? I was on, I came in here for 70 days of fasting and prayer. Probably knew that if I came cold, if I came not, not on fire, the systems of the world here would just swallow me up. He knows. What is he training you for? What is he training you for? There are times in my life when I'm just, when I just see myself eating, 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 I know very soon the Lord is going to put me on a dry fast. Once my spirit is just asking for food, I'm just eating, I'm eating, I'm eating. I'm like, very soon it's going to put me on a dry fast. I already know that. What is God training you for? That thing you're going through, what is he training you for? That man who changed all of a sudden, what is he training you for? That wife who was submissive all of a sudden, she doesn't listen anymore. What is he training you for? Could he be his training your patience? Could he be his training your tolerance? And those exams that you keep failing, what is he training you for? Maybe you have too much confidence in your wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And it's telling you, I need you to depend on me on this. What is he saying to you? Hmm. I want you to know. That the version of you right now cannot survive where God is taking you to. And that is why he's taking you through a process. Do not jump classes. Every time it seems like there are storms and everywhere is just choking. I want you to, to just submit yourself and say, Lord, okay, yes, Lord, what are you saying? What do I need to learn? What, 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 what do I need to learn? What, what are you training me for? Because I know that after every storm, there is, after every rain, after every floor, there is a rainbow. Did you hear that? After every flood, there is a rainbow. Lord, what is it that I need to know? Instead of giving up, pray prayers of inquiries. Do not give up. God is preparing to announce you to your word. <laughs> God is preparing you to announce you to your word. He's preparing to announce that business to the world. Do not give up. Do not give up. See yet a man diligence in his ways. He will sit before kings and all men. Don't give up. Have you lost anything in life? It is by his grace that you didn't lose everything. There is a man called Job. He lost everything. He continued to thank God, even in the midst of it. That will not be your portion and my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have lost finances, if you have lost time, we have the technology called restoration. We have the technology called speed. God has all of them. He's able to pull them all out for you. Don't give up. Be consistent. Don't give up on God. He's not giving up on you. He's waiting for you right at the other side. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. 